Hello, Cancer. So, welcome to my weekly Tarot Love reading. And today is the 31st of December. So, next time you see me, it will be 2021. So, I wish a really beautiful New Year's to everybody that's watching this video. So, I'm getting my video in early. Um, so, let's get started. So, I'm tuning into Cancer the Collective and their other. Tuning into Cancer the Collective and their other. And we're going to be exploring the feelings and the intentions between you and the other, as well as the unifying energies that exist between both of you. And then, based on where the cards are at, we're going to pick some cards just to get some more information about what the best way to proceed forward is. And then I've got a whole bunch of cards here, so I'll pick some cards just to give some more information to go deeper. So, the theme of the reading for today is celebration. And I remember your reading that I did last week was really, really positive. So let's see where it's going. So what are the feelings and the intentions between Cancer and their other? How do you feel about them, Cancer? How do they feel about you? What are the unifying feelings between the two of you? What are your intentions with them? What are their intentions with you? What are the unifying intentions between the two of you? Okay. And then what are the unifying intentions between you and the other that you share in this connection? What are the unifying intentions between you and the other that you share in this connection? Never a simple process. All right, so I'm going to pick three cards from the Lenormand deck just to get more information because there's a lot going on here. So this is for Cancer and the other. Please give me three cards to get more information for Cancer and the other. Cancer and the other. So I can see your intentions is for fun, uh, for for love. Uh, both of you want love, but it's there's obstacles in the way. There are obstacles that are getting in the way, getting in the way, of having fun together. Cancer and the other. Mm, that's beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to pick three cards from the Osho Tarot deck. And I see it's both of you. I see it's you and it's the other person. Um, and I can see that you're going through a transformation of sorts within yourself. Three cards for Cancer and the other. Change. Beyond Illusion. Laziness, okay. So we're going to pick a card from the um, Wisdom of the Oracle. This is the Cancer and the other. And then I'll dive into the reading to get more information. Wisdom of the Oracle. Cancer and the other. Okay. And then one last one from the Animal this is for cancer and the other it's for cancer and the other one card please cancer and the other ooh fox upside down <clears throat> okay all right so <sighs> let's see what's going on here 
I feel like you are in this state of transition and change and transformation and <clears throat> sorry communication and there is communication that is needing to happen spiritual truth okay illumination integration and vision so I feel like you are going through this transformation. I know this year has been very difficult for you, Cancer. And um, it, it's really broken your trust around love and relationships. And so I can see you are wanting to love. And so is this other person. But both of you are also kind of moving away from pain from the past. And from anguish from the past. So I can see that with regards to your feelings. You're more in a sort of a masculine state of action. Um, and possibly not entirely seeing them or feeling them or sensing them. So perhaps to counteract having been in such a feeling state, you've gone into more of a masculine state. Um, where there may be an element of disregard for your feelings. And, um, and so possibly uh, something may have happened between the two of you where this person feels some kind of a loss. Okay. Um, but I can see both of you wanting to move away from what has been difficult, especially mentally. And so for you, I can see that your intentions are for some kind of realization or shift or new beginnings with regards to this connection, <clears throat> they're anxious in their intentions with regards to the connection. They want the love, but they're feeling anxious because maybe you're not entirely um, flowing with them at the moment. And so the unifying energies that are existing between the two of you is the hermit. So you're both kind of either wanting or needing or are in a place of aloneness. And aloneness doesn't have to mean alone. Um, it can be being alone by yourself, meeting aloneness, but it doesn't mean that you feel alone. Okay. Um, the Page of Wands is talking about both of you wanting some kind of new spark or new initiation, but it's there's something creative about it and you feel this about each other, like you feel there's some kind of spark or something there. And you're both waiting for things to fall back into balance, okay? Because we've got the Justice card and it's about the skills <clears throat> coming back into balance. So I feel like you're both conscientious of what you put out there. But there is, we have got the laziness card over here and you are going through change and you're needing to see beyond the illusion of getting back into the game of relationships. <clears throat> Not only getting back into the game of relationships, but um, getting back into joy and happiness with someone. And uh, the I feel like the laziness card is talking about perhaps a state of non-action um, or perhaps a, a holding back or just, you know, trusting that things will happen when they happen, as opposed to actually um, taking initiative. So, you know, the Emperor card here with, with regards to how you feel about them, um, it could also indicate that you feel that they are very direct and forward and very much about taking action, and they could feel that you are going through some kind of a loss or they could feel that you're a bit um, mopey or mourning about uh, something which no longer needs to be mourned about possibly. Um, and, but, and yet both of you are wanting to move away from what has been challenging. I think we've all experienced um, some kind of intensity this year and we've all learnt and been burnt and been broken and prodded and it's it's always a good thing but we're needing to upgrade 
So the contrary fox may be telling you that you have become too visible in climbing to a place of recognition. Oftentimes the envy or jealousness of others is thrown in your face. If you are feeling attacked, withdraw. It may be a time to assume the attitude of the hermit and deck yourself in the cloak of inv invisibility. To write contrary fox in this situation, call on armadillo and name your boundaries. Then the call on the family's protector to show you the then call on the family's protector to show you the art of camouflage. Once out of the line of attack, you can resume the role of being your foxy self. Become fox and feel the joy of knowing the playground of your life. You may find that the chicken coop is full of intriguing morsels of delight. So, um, yeah, so I think it's more a case of, you know, with your, with your feelings about them, you feel that possibly they've been too forward or too direct. Um, and And so the card is kind of, encouraging you to protect yourself or to put boundaries around yourself and to just take some time out if you feel like uh, people are coming on too strong or if there's some kind of attack. Um, the next card is the, number three, the Between Worlds. And let's see what that has to say. Um, So transitions, not being out of one situation and fully engaged in another, temporary blindness, no man's land. This is a time to explore the new energy between you and another. It is not a moment for certainty, but rather for discovery and curiosity. You don't yet know if this will last forever, so allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected back to you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself, what you need, what do you like or dislike, what values are important for you. You're not... You are in a critical phase of your relationship, and this is not to be dismissed or hurried. Okay, so so what I'm feeling is, um, especially with uh, the purification card over here, uh, the between worlds, and uh, the fox in reverse. Um, I feel um, I feel that, like I said, you are going through this period of change, where your perception of things are going through shifts, and you have come out of a situation with a previous person that may have been quite painful. And, and so it's, it's now about moving forward into a new experience, possibly, but allowing yourself uh, with healthy boundaries to enter into this experience with curiosity and through taking action and not waiting for it to fall into your lap. So making, making the move, taking the initiative, in order to move beyond the illusion of where your fears are at. So, um, yeah, it, it feels like because the theme is the Three of Cups, it's about allowing yourself to start experiencing happiness again. So this card over here is talking about communication, uh, abundance, and powerful abundance, communication of powerful abundance. Or it could be talking about financial power, communication about financial power or financial authority. Uh, so there's some kind of communication that's coming to you. But I don't feel that this is really, um, well, possibly. Possibly um, there's something that is keeping you separate in this connection and there's some kind of communication that's coming through that may have a tone of abundance for you. Um, and brings joy and will be what you're needing to hear in order to um, move forward and surrender into the situation. So based on where the cards are at, how are things moving forward? Because I, I do feel that I do feel that you both want this love and I feel that there is still some kind of holding back that's going on, possibly fear on your part. And I think it's creating anxiety and loss for the other person. Um, so, based on where the cards are at, how are, what's going to proceed? Based on where the cards are at, how are things going to move forward? Two cards. Yeah, so, um, your, this defense, um, it creates confusion. It, 
creates confusion to to the connection. Um, so if there is a part of you that's holding back or uh, not allowing or staying in a position of defense or protection, you know, crab, cancer, the crab, the, the shell. Um, and then we've got the moon over here. So, you know, the moon is about confusion, but it can also be um, about illumination. It can also be about fears. So I feel like if things carry as they do, there is the potential for some kind of detachment to happen from the other person, which I feel will um, affect the, the a new emotional beginning that is wanting to happen. So, um, so let's see, based on where the cards are at, based on where the cards are at, what is the best way for Cancer to proceed forward? Based on where the cards are at, what is the best way for Cancer to proceed forward? Based on where the cards are at, what is the best way for cancer to proceed forward? Three cards. Okay. Um, interesting. <laughs> I'm saying interesting because I just did a reading for someone for a Cancerian and these were the cards that came out for them. Um, so it's the night of, um, so it's, it's a new project that you're in the process of manifesting or creating and it's talking about um, the abundance coming from this project. And I, so I feel like it's, you know, this is also talking about work then, communication of abundance, financial abundance coming your way and power. Um, so, you know, this just wanted to come in, but based on where things are at with regards to this connection, what is the best way for you to proceed forward? Uh, we've got the Knight of Wands, uh, which is talking about, I, I feel in this case it's talking about a, a project that you're in the process of developing or manifesting or creating or trying to bring, you're busy planning it and trying to bring it into action. And it's talking about abundance, possibly financial abundance that is coming from that. Okay. And, yep, it wanted to come out, it's to do with work, okay. But it will um, impact the relationship and the exchange, okay. And, um, and I see your independence is coming up for call here. And I, I almost, I've got a feeling that it may be a struggle. It may be a struggle to manage this you, I feel like you will have to um, especially with the boundaries card over here uh, or at least the, the fox in reverse um, it, it may mean that you have to like stand your ground and assert yourself with what's possible and what isn't possible um, and so it may create some loss within the relationship um, or it may create heartbreak and possibly mistrust with this other person and some kind of disconnection so it is what it is and this work project whatever it is is important for you and it's it's really going to boost your self-esteem and your morale and your sense of worth and self um and so yeah I, I feel I feel I cannot answer any more than that and we can just leave it at that and allow things to unfold as they do um, but it just doesn't feel like this connection is fully flowing right now despite both your intentions to experience love and possibly it's because there are other things that are needing to happen first like work in your case um, and also because you're still going through change you're in between worlds you're still um, coming out of one before moving into the next one. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to happen. It's just um, you're, you're, you, you've got to allow yourself to go slow with this and to open into it as it feels right, but to not avoid it, to be curious about it. Okay, now I'm talking too much. So I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye, and I hope that shed light on the situation if you're still here watching. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I wish you all such a beautiful, 
uh, New Year's, whatever you end up doing, um, even if it's just having a normal evening, chilling in front of a good movie or with a good book or eating a meal. And I will see you all in 2021. It'll be a new year. So bye for now.